What's up guys, Carnage here, and let's check out Cannibal Cuisine on Xbox. This game is published and developed by Rocket Vulture, and it releases on January 25th, 2022, for a price of $12.99. So Cannibal Cuisine is a co-op cook-em-up, as they describe it in the store page, and I love that term. Uh, it definitely gives me vibes of overcooked and beat-em-up games, maybe mixed together. I'm not exactly sure what to expect, uh, but we're going to check it out together from the very top. Uh, so let's take a look here in the settings page. Um, there we go. Uh, there's a couple different languages to choose from and also sound and music settings. Uh, so we're going to lower that a little bit. Hopefully the audio is good. There we go. That's set up. And uh, while this game is multiplayer focused, uh, you can play both local and online co-op and PvP modes. Uh, today we're going to check out the single player modes and then another time I'm looking forward to trying out, uh, hopefully trying the uh, multiplayer online with friends. Uh, and if I do that, I'll stream it and, and or make another video in the future. Uh, but for now, we're going to just check out the game itself uh, for campaign and take a look from the very beginning. So Jungle zero, uh, Level 1, uh, there's also another campaign here that they start you off with, The Curse of the Scarab King, which is probably like um, more challenging, probably like a challenge mode or something like that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to start out with the very first main levels and uh, get a feel for the game. So Jungle 1. Uh, looks like we can have different characters or customize our character there. Uh, fire breath. There's different. Okay, is this a different? Uh... Okay, the hats. I don't know if they're just visual or they actually help you do different things. But as you can see at the top, you can just invite people or play locally uh, right away, or local or online, um, through the campaign or versus modes or other types of uh, cooperative stuff. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of different modes that you can mess with. All right, let's take a look at our. How we want to customize our guy. Um, let's see. We can make him blue like an avatar person. Uh, Xbox green. How about we go with Xbox green? He looks like an ogre. He's Shrek now. Um, dash, stomp. Okay, we can pick our ability. Fire breath. Uh, so there's a couple here to choose from. I'm going to try dash. And here we go. So it looks like to get three stars, we need 1,500 points if we want to go for that. But we'll see. After centuries of peace, a rumble echoes from the depths. All right. So it's even got some cutscenes, which I just skipped, apparently. <laughs> uh, we're going we're gonna to see if we can restart that and watch the cutscene um, rip. Uh, I probably should not skip this either to <laughs> see how to actually play. Attack Taurus for Yummy Meat. Uh, they spelled yummy wrong, unless that's what they're going for, just like a random uh, weird word there. Grab ingredients and place them on a skewer. Dash, fire breathe, stomp, totem is, is your X button. And uh, heal yourself is the Y button. So it's the face buttons, easy to learn, uh, probably hard to master. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to see if we can watch that cutscene that I just skipped. Uh, hopefully I kept my setup. There we go. If not, then uh, not, a, not a huge deal, but here we go. After centuries of peace, a rumble echoes from the depths below Cannibal Island. So yeah, don't press A, otherwise it skips the cutscene, which I found out the hard way. Hungry, 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 hungry hippos. We demand human sacrifices. You must bring us tasty meats. Okay, or face our wrath. So we gotta cook the monsters some good stuff. Otherwise, they're gonna get hangry. <laughs> they're gonna get very hangry at us. Uh, Hooch Hoochaboo have spawned all over the island. All right. All right, so we gotta jump here with, or is it B with dash? Let me see, X. Okay, X is dash. Now, trying to figure out, do we kill them and get meat from them? That makes sense. I mean, it's it's cannibal cuisine, so we gotta kill the humans. Sorry, humans, and give them. Uh, we can bring that. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, apparently you can't swim in this game. Um, let me see here. Can I place that? They don't want bananas, they want meat. Makes sense. Uh, I'm getting used to the controls, so bear with me. Uh, X is dash, which is weird. Um, banana steak. Oh, okay. So it is like, in the, in the top left, it shows the, um, kind of like an overcooked what type of meal it is. And they want a cooked banana steak. So we need to put it on the fire and cook it. Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, I gotta get used to X being dash. Usually it's B in games. And X is attack. But here, A is attack. So that's kind of weird. Can I pick up two at the same time? No, I can't. Um, if we don't take this off the fire, it's probably gonna... Uh... Okay, we can put that right there. Uh, oh, he threw a bomb at me. So he also got to dodge hazards and stuff. Did he not like the steak? Come on, man! Oh, shit! <laughs> got an achievement. Kitchen klutz. I didn't even know what I'm doing. Serve two wrong dishes in a row. I already, I already messed up the first order. <laughs> We're gonna try restarting. So, I don't know exactly how I messed up if I have to cook the... I made a banana steak. Did I not... Did I have to not cook it? Uh, let's see. If I put this on here... And then... Let me try this out. Definitely an intriguing uh, mix of game genres here. Um, do I put this on with it? Oh, that might be how to do it. Okay. Interesting. Let's see if it's ready now. Did he like that? There we go. You gotta put it on at the same time. Deliver your first correct dish. Okay. Nice. Now, we're probably not gonna get three stars this time, but I'm just getting acquainted with the controls and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. Uh, banana steak. There we go. Another one. And it doesn't look like I'm healing. I wonder if I respawn. Don't know if I want to find that out the hard way or not. Um, he ate that quickly. Let's see, we're going to put that one on here. He liked it. Okay, we're not going to find out the hard way here. We're going to put that on there. Uh, so far, it's easy enough. There's only one type of meal, but it will obviously get harder. Uh, this one is pissed at me right here. Um, okay. Oh. Uh-oh. I just, I just messed up his order by adding an extra thing. <laughs> oh, no. Do I respawn? I do. Okay, so I'm not too worried about getting hit too much. Just have to make the right dishes. Um, will this cook in time? I don't think so. Maybe? Five seconds? No, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Ah, uh, do they give me any chance for the last dish? No, they don't. That's fine. I'll take a two-star rating the first time. Or one-star rating, even? Okay. <laughs> even worse, but hey, it's the first, uh, first time playing the game, so... I killed eight tourists and... Failed an order, got one order completed, uh, four orders completed, rather. Um, and yeah, I could definitely see this being a lot of fun online and, uh, local and online multiplayer. So very cool that they added co-op and PvP modes to both local and online. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to check that out later on in another uh, video or stream as well. Uh, but for now we're gonna move on to, uh, maybe try level one again, or let's just move on to a new level. Um, and then I could always come back to levels later. Uh, it shows you a uh, level select screen, and there are probably like a lot of levels. There's a challenge level coming up in a bit. Um, also, in the meantime, let's take a look at the achievement list as I got two of them already. Uh, 40 gamer score so far. Uh, order, yeah, your first correct dish and two wrong dishes in a row. Uh, let's take a look at the other achievements. Complete a jungle challenge, beach challenge, temple challenge, volcano challenge. So there's a lot of levels and challenge levels on top of that as well. Um, finish the game with three stars in every level. So that will be a little challenge. Uh, probably easier in multiplayer, but we'll see. Uh, kill 50 tourists with a single cannibal in one round. 
Uh, kill a thousand tourists. Serve 20 perfect dishes. Stress eater. Use a volcano bomb to kill a tourist. Deliver a dish with less than three seconds left on the clock. Oh, we can get that on purpose, technically. Uh, heal a cannibal who has less than 10% health left. Heal a cannibal. Okay, so... Don't know why we want to heal them if we're killing... <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, pick up a dish that was previously submerged. Die by fire in a temple level. And cook a dish to completion while it's not on a grill. So yeah, most of them are straightforward. If you go for three stars in every level in the game, it's probably going to be... You're probably going to have most of the other achievements along the way anyway, or all of them. So anyway, let's move on to Jungle 2. Uh, we can also change up our, our attire here. Uh, let's see. We're going to be... There we go. We'll be a Smurf. <laughs> Blue. Okay. Um, so we have a baseball bat, a sword, a spear, an axe. That's cool. Uh, and let's try a different ability. A totem that heals nearby cannibals. I don't ha know how it's helpful to heal uh, cannibals. I thought we are trying to kill them to get the meat, but... Unless the cannibals are... We'll figure it out. I'm going to start with that and try it out. Uh, 600... Okay, 1550 is the uh, three-star rating, which we're probably not going to get. But trying this out anyway. Okay. Uh, so, looks like we don't have... So, we don't have dash now. So, you got to use this to do that. Oh. Now, if I use my Y button, or X button, let me see. I don't know why that... Uh-oh. Damn. Restart. I feel like Dash is going to be one of the best abilities, though, to get around quickly for the three-star rating. But right now we're using... Uh... Okay, Flaming Yawn. Um, That is a stake. Okay, we're, we're going to restart this again. Uh, I really should just try dash again, but that's fine. We're going to experiment with some of the other stuff. Wow, I'm bad. I <laughs> keep falling in the uh, water. All right. There we go. Okay, the first one is a banana steak. So place that on the fire. And we want a banana. Uh-oh. Yeah, I messed that up. Okay, next is a flaming yawn. Oh, gotta get used to the controls. <laughs> okay. Put that on here, and that one in here. And then... Yeah, like I said, I'm not I'm not the best at these kind of games. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but you can probably tell. I'm not the greatest at Overcooked, but I enjoy these kind of games. And this one definitely seems intriguing. Oh, that one almost burned, but we got it. Oh, no, I, I totally... Okay, I don't like the healing ability. I'm going to switch back to Dash um, in the interest of actually doing better. <laughs> Now, I, I tried showing the different abilities. There are, like I showed you guys here, uh, there's Fire Breath. Okay, you can cook faster with that. Uh, dash is probably the best. Shockwave to stun enemies. But yeah, I don't see any other one better than Dash. So I'm going to try that again with Dash this time. But, you know, I'm sure there are ways to utilize the other abilities better. All right, so with Dash, we can just press X now. And... Kill some humans. Okay. And we're gonna put that here. And we need a, uh, we need that one first. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. That next is the banana steak. So. Go. Banana steak. 
Uh, oops. Okay, A, it's so weird because A is to, A is to attack, and I wish you could change the controls. I don't know if you can. I, I don't know why it's it's giving me such a hard problem uh, trouble with it. It's not the game. It's it's. I need to get used to the controls, but maybe it is the game partially. I don't know. Um, I feel like A should be like pick up stuff, and then X should be attack, and B should be dash. That's that's what I would prefer. And Y is like your other uh, ability. But anyway. I know, it's a minor gripe, not a big deal. The game seems cool so far. Uh, we're gonna put that on here, and we need a hot pepper. And then the next one is also a hot pepper. And we're gonna get that over here. Now we're getting a little bit better with the controls. Uh, that one goes to him here, and this one will go to him too. Spawn though. Okay, now he wants a chili pepper and another one like that. There we go. That should be good. The other one he didn't like, apparently. This one he did, but. Last time, he, like, spit something out. Um, okay, this one here. And the next one is a steak. We're just gonna run past them. Okay, so that's that one. The other one was probably overcooked, like, cooked too much. I said overcooked. Yeah, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to say that in, uh... It was ironic. Um, literally, like the word overcooked. It was just the steak was over. Well done. Okay. Um, now we can put this one on here. That was almost done there. And another one there. Uh oh. <gasps> no! <laughs> I almost fell in the water. Oh man, we need we need a banana steak though for him. Okay, now we need a steak again here. Oh no. <laughs> well, I didn't have much health left anyway, so. Oh no, there's a steak on a thing. Ah, give me it back, my steak. Don't let it go. Oh, we're not gonna make it, I don't think. Maybe. If I can get this thing in there real quick, I might have time to deliver one more. Maybe, 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 come on. Oh, <laughs> I had one job, but I aimed the wrong way. That was my bad. Oh well. But hey, we, we actually got two stars that time. There's hope for me. To getting three stars, maybe. Um, moving on to Jungle 3. Yeah, I'm liking the concept of this game. Definitely um, overcooked meats, like a beat-em-up, or uh, fighting fighting elements to it as well. So Definitely an interesting mix. They have different hazards and maps here, as you can see. Um, each with its own unique uh, challenges. And I'm just kind of surveying the level right now to see what's going on and then I'll make my plan. So, monkey bone I need to get. How do I get, is there a monkey somewhere? Wait, weird. Okay. So this will jump me over. And can't get back that way, you gotta go here. Um, I don't know where to put this though. Oh, there's the fire up there. Okay, okay. I was definitely making that trickier than it. I, I was gonna try something crazy here. 
Uh, see if I can dash diagonally across to the bottom left and do like a pro strat. <laughs> Probably not, but I do want to test it out. Uh, let's see. Trying to get, trying to get fancy now. Oh my god, it actually worked, but I had to do it like a double tap. I'm not gonna try that. Well, yeah, let's try it again. It doesn't even save that much time because I didn't just do that. Uh, but yeah. Oh, there's a monkey bone. Okay, so that's a different item here. And then I need to, oh, I need to put it on there. That's right. Um, ah, the controls. I, I really wish there was a way to remap the controls. Um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not used to it yet. Okay. Okay, there we go. We don't need that one. We need um, the other type of bones. There we go, that one. I am, man, I am doing bad at this. <laughs> it is fun though, it is addicting. Like, I do want to get better and figure it out, but I could definitely see this being a, a fun multiplayer even more. Okay, this guy has that one. I'm gonna place it on the fire. Then I need to quickly put this thing here, pick it up and go up here. And now I can get that one going. Cool, cool. Now, meanwhile, I can put this one on the next fire, pick up that, serve it to him, and hope I don't mess up. <laughs> and there we go. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put that one on the fire, serve this to him. Hopefully it's not too, too much, uh, oh. Uh, that one needs a regular stake. No! I fell in. Crap. Uh, I also need the other thing, which is not going to work, because that burned. <laughs> that was a fail. I'm going to restart again. Man, this is tricky. Okay. I wonder if I could uh, bring a, a bunch of stuff over there. That might help. Although we need to make sure we get the bone first. Okay, there we go. I need another banana as well. And hopefully we can get it from him. Yep. Okay. And another banana. Now we're making progress, okay. Uh, next we need another banana. And we need to get a bone. Not that one. No, <laughs> now I'm dead. And that banana is gonna burn. Oh crap. Well, I'll take another one. Oh no, I didn't wanna go back that way. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I took it off there, so. Hopefully I won't mess it up. Oh man, this is tricky. Got a multi-task here. Okay, that, that works, I think. Um, next we need a hot pepper. Man, this place is a mess. Um, and the other steak, okay, so that's easier. And that one we can put there. This one we can serve, I think. Uh, oh, I did them in the wrong order, I think. Yep. Oh well. Yep, I, I did it in the wrong order. Oh, oh well. Okay, that one is almost done. Monkey bone. Uh, I'm not going to get a high score for that, giving it to him late like that. Um, but chili pepper. And then this steak right here. And then the banana we need. So the right one, surf the right one first. Uh, yeah. 
There we go. Now that one, we need to do to get the other bone, though. And that's almost done there. There we go. Another one. Put that on the fire. We might, we might make it, I don't know. If I can get one more serve to him. Okay, we did it at the last second. Holy shit, we actually got the achievement too with uh, deliver a dish with us in three seconds on the clock and we didn't quite get three stars though. I, I got a little excited there, but uh, oh well, we, uh, yeah, like I said, this is uh, tougher probably in single player, especially if you're playing with me uh, in multiplayer. It's probably not going to be easy <laughs> because I am not good at this game yet, not going to lie. Um, hopefully I will get better. I am enjoying my time with the game so far. So let's move on and see if we can uh, progress here. Change up our outfit again. Yeah, now we're a true chef. We got to put our chef's hat on. Uh, different melee weapon. What is that, a paintbrush? What the hell? An axe? I, I love the uh, customization. Is that an Xbox logo? It's like a green X, it looks like, kind of. Let's just go with that. We'll pretend it's an Xbox logo, even though it's not. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, what is this here? Uh, steak plant. All right. Oh. Yeah, definitely uh, easier with dashing. Um, chili pepper. That one there. And then the next one is a... Oh, no! The next one is falling in the water. Oh, man. That one delivered. Uh, the next one is that thing. Monkey bone. And then the next one is a chili pepper. I gotta get faster at it. <laughs> no! I don't know why it didn't dash. Oh, there was, was a fence there. Damn it. That's annoying. I mean, I still made it, but... Okay. Definitely got to get used to it. Um, the next one is another chili pepper, so bring that that way. And another monkey bone. Oh. Okay, good. This one, hopefully I'll do fast enough here. And then that one, you do get more points, I'm sure, if, you, if you're fast with it. You have a higher bar on there. Okay, there we go. That one's set up. Next one is an eggplant. And put that here. And the eggplant needs a this regular steak. Okay. That's not good. Oh, man. Well, I'm gonna try sending him this one, even though it's not the right one next. Oh, well. Oh, well, that's a, pretty much all I can deliver there. I think I got one or two stars at least that time. Not too shabby. Okay. level 5, I believe. 
uh, in jungle. So it looks like there's also like a bunch of different worlds. We're only in the jungle world, and then there's uh, a couple others, uh, each with a couple levels in them. So definitely a lot of levels in the game. Uh, yeah, there's other worlds here. Beach, temple, volcano. Um, and yeah, let's move on. Try the next level out. Did I do jungle? No, I, I did the same... Uh, Hold on, let's load that up again here. I went to... F okay. Go to five. This is the new level. Oh no, now we gotta match color. Bring the right dish to the Hoochaboo of matching color. Oh man. As if it wasn't uh, hard enough. They're already implementing new stuff, but that's cool. Um, how are we gonna... Oh wow. Oh wow, this is... Yeah, this is crazy. Okay, um, monkey brain. <laughs> nice. They're dropping brains now. Are they zombies? Um, or zombies eat brains, what am I saying? <laughs> oh man. Okay, how do we, how do we do this? Banana brain, put it on the fire there, I guess? Um, okay, we use the teleport, that works. No, nope, I don't want to do that. Oh, no. No, no, no. Now I gave him the totally wrong dish. There, look at that. He's pissed. Yeah, well. Um, we're going to restart that. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to, re uh, to dash into there, but it's not working. I don't know why. Let me try it again. Okay. Uh, steak plant, okay. Oh, come on, dude, come on, get over there. Alright. Another steak plant. Oh, he's not dropping it. Nope. <laughs> Uh, this one is a wash, literally, <laughs> I fell in the, as I fall in the river. We're going to try one more time for now. Uh, definitely takes some getting used to, but cool game. Definitely recommend to anyone who likes overcooked and uh, multiplayer focused games like that. Uh, of course, like I said, you can play single player, but it might be harder. Uh, or you might be better at it than I am and hopefully do well, but yeah. Oh. I am bad at this game, I'm not gonna lie. Well, it's pretty evident, you can see it here. Uh, but I will hopefully get better at it. And looking forward to trying out the online and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to practice the earlier levels, get better at the controls, and uh, I think that's gonna do it for now. I know there's a challenge level coming up next, but I'll leave that as kind of a surprise for you guys to check out and hopefully be able to do better than me and get to it. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, enjoy the uh, enjoy this game if you do pick it up. It is twelve ninety nine out uh, out on the twenty fifth of um, January, rather sorry, January twenty fifth, two thousand twenty two. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be um, a play anywhere game as well. You could play on Windows or Xbox One or Series. Uh, so check it out if you enjoy multiplayer party games and uh, Overcooked and stuff like that. You'll definitely enjoy this one, uh, even though it does have quite a learning curve. Um, easy to learn, hard to master. It's one of those kind of games, um, you know, where you can just play through leisurely or you can try for higher uh, three star challenges there, as you can see. Uh, and a multitude of different uh, multiplayer modes or solo. Uh, there is versus mode here, obviously, but um, you can play with, I think you can play with, uh, yeah, locally and online, like I said earlier. Uh, so there's a couple different maps to choose from in that. Um, and yeah, it seems like a cool game. So I want to give a thanks again uh, also to the publisher and PR company for providing a review copy of this game. That way I can showcase it for you guys. And thanks again to everyone watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for future content. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.